Hi, my name is Caleb Collins, and in this course, you're gonna be learning how to shoot a Zillow video walkthrough. To be able to do this, you gotta have a phone. Now, if you have one of the modern phones that have an ultra wide lens, then you're set, you're good to go. But say you have an older generation phone that may not have an ultra wide lens, then it's good to use something like this. This is a wide angle lens that is made specifically for mobile phones. This is made by Moment, and this is a Moment cell phone case and it just hooks right into your uh, camera, nice and wide. You're also gonna need a gimbal to stabilize your shots. This is a gimbal made by DJI. Now, this is made specifically for mobile phones and it's nice and lightweight. It's got controls on the back to start, stop recording, zoom, uh, lots of fun stuff. But before I had this, I did use a bigger gimbal that was made for bigger cameras but you're gonna to have to have a cell phone clamp, a mounting plate, and you're gonna to have to have something like this, which these are balancing weights. So this is gonna allow you to get a correct balance so that your gimbal doesn't vibrate as you're shooting and it's gonna ruin your shots. Zillow video walkthroughs actually boost a listing's ranking on Zillow.com. And we're gonna take it to the next level. Previously, Zillow video walkthroughs were just raw cell phone video, no edits, no music, no text graphics, but in this course, you're gonna learn how to take it to the next level. Hope you enjoy this course. We're just walking through the house, making sure all the lights are turned on. And when you get to a room where there's a ceiling fan, for a video, it's okay to have the ceiling fan on, but we don't want it on high. If you're able to reach the switch and make sure the fan is on low, that's preferred. So like uh, pantry doors and so forth, uh, I like to have those closed for the video. Awesome, we'll check these lamps, see if we can't get them on. We're using a cell phone, so the sensors are really small, and so they perform so much better when there's plenty of light. So that's why we're making sure every light is turned on and windows are open to let as much natural light in as we can. Typically we'll have the toilet, uh, the water closet closed or halfway open so people can see it's there, but we don't wanna have a big view of the toilet. So in this half bath, the mirror hasn't been mounted yet. So it doesn't look great where it is. So we need to move it. Ideally, if the client was here, you would ask them to move it for you because anything you move, you're liable for. So if it looks expensive, don't move it without asking. Before you start shooting, make sure all your lenses are clean. So I like to have a cloth with me so I can wipe down these lenses. You know, when you have your cell phone in your pocket, a lot of lint and dirt can get stuck on the lenses and it'll make your shots look fuzzy or cloudy. So it's good to have them clean. Uh, same with your moment lens. If you're using that, make sure your optics are clean on both sides. So first we'll make sure we're balanced, ready to go. I have the counterweights here to make sure the lens the camera is balanced correctly. We're just shooting with the native camera app. So with my iPhone, I'll just launch the camera app and go to video mode. Now when you're shooting these videos, uh, often you can get blown up with messages or phone calls and that can ruin takes. And so I like to have my phone in airplane mode while I'm shooting video. Perfect, so we're gonna go into our settings and I like to shoot in 24 frames at 4K. So you can jump into your settings here and adjust until you get to 24 frames per second. And that'll give you the best low light options inside homes. Outside, you've got plenty of light and so it's gonna look great, but when you get on the inside of a home you get in a dark space, it can get really noisy on these small sensors. So Apple says that at 24 frames, you'll get your best low light capability. Awesome, so we'll launch our gimbal and get started. So the key to a pro Zillow video walkthrough is you have to shoot everything in sequential order. So first you'll start on the outside of the home and you're gonna actually shoot it as if you were putting the video together in real time. But you're gonna stop and start on each clip that you capture. So you typically you'll start with a wide and then you'll step back and do a zoomed in shot and then you'll do a detail shot and then you'll do a, a walk-in shot to the front door. So let's go ahead and shoot that hit record and immediately start our motion. You know, bend your knees, walk smoothly, do a nice slow push in to the house and stop. So 
we want to be able to capture the clip as if we're actually going to be using that. So we don't want any lag time at the front of the clip and we don't want any lag time at the end of the clip. So now that was a nice general pushing shot of the outside of the home. So next I like to do a, a zoomed in shot. So let's check the wide angle lens. So that was, we went from ultra wide to wide and that's a nice shot. And so I like to kind of do a, a perspective shot. Ready, record, and move. Starts recording. And we're just doing a walk around shot, trying to show the outside curb appeal of the home. And stop. So you try to seamlessly press the stop button at the perfect time so that you have a perfect end and out to your clip. Now this home has a three car garage on the opposite side. So I wanna go ahead and show that in this video clip at the starting of the shot. Now this isn't very pretty here, this electrical box. So I'm gonna try and cut that out of the shot, hit record and start moving. Just a nice little push in here and stop. So a lot of these clips, they don't need to be 10, 15 seconds long. Honestly, two to four to five seconds is the perfect amount of time for a video clip. So now we've got our wide push in. We've got a zoomed in shot around the side. We've shown the garage. And now we're gonna jump in and do a little detail shot of this staircase here. So we're gonna get framed up. That zoomed in shot, I would say that's a little too close. So I'm gonna step back here. And so I do like a shot where it starts up, you hit record, move, movement, and stop. So that clip was quick, but in video editing, it'll grab it just nicely as a detail shot. So next, we're gonna do a walk-in shot into the door. So I really like to try and keep our verticals straight when we're doing walking shots. So I'm referencing the edge of the camera shot here to make sure it's straight up and down with the edge of the frame where the windowsill is. So I'm gonna hit record and walk. Try to keep your knees bent to do a nice smooth walk in right into the door and stop. Perfect, so now we've got the front of the home sequence shot, totally shot. Now our next piece will be on the inside. Let's go. So now we're on the inside of the home. And so for the inside, you primarily wanna use the ultra wide lens. So you make the space look as big as possible. But it's great to use the wide lens with a little bit more zoomed in look for detail shots. And even if you wanna get a really tight detail than the telephoto lens. The lens that has the best low light capability is the wide lens. It's the nicest sensor and has the widest aperture. So we're gonna start in the entry of the home and work into the living areas as if we're showing the person the home for the first time. So I'm gonna make sure my verticals are straight up and down and I'm gonna start moving right after hit record. Record, moving, and we're just gonna do a backup, back up, make sure you don't hit anything and stop. So that's just kind of a nice way to show uh, the entryway. Now we're gonna do a, a zoomed in shot, capture the light fixture into the entryway. And I'm just pulling back very slowly as I'm tilting down. Stop. So nice little detail shot there. Perfect. So now we're gonna show it from the other perspective. So we're gonna start back in the corner and we're gonna walk into the living area and walk. And then a nice, nice little slow down, down but, but still pushing push in. in, stop. So that was a perfect, nice slow down, push in there. And I like to switch from the opposite angle. So what would be the next best shot here? So walking in from the opposite corner, to make sure our verticals are straight, our camera's nice and straight. So I'm gonna slowly move, hit record, then jump into my shot and do a nice little pan. Stop. Perfect. So another good shot, because these ceilings are so high, now we come from the opposite corner we're still in the ultra wide lens. And if your camera accidentally gets a little crooked, then push down one side of the lens to get it to straighten out. So this roof line is amazing. So I'm gonna hit record and just a nice tilt down 
showing off the whole space. And stop. Perfect. Now, another a fun detail shot. This fireplace is epic. And we have lots of space here, so we're gonna try this telephoto shot here. And so we're gonna nicely frame between here, and we're gonna go up the fireplace. Nice and slow, like showing off that cool fireplace. And now we're getting to that light fixture, so let's just keep it going and stop. Perfect. So in the editing software, it has some intelligence built into it. And so if it thinks that the fireplace is a great shot or if it thinks the light fixture is a great shot, it'll actually choose for you. Now we're gonna show how the living room and the kitchen connects. So we're gonna go back out to our ultra wide perspective and we're gonna line up the spaces how they flow together. So actually I am gonna start further back so you can see the living area and I'm gonna hit record. Immediately you start moving so there's no stop start and we're pushing into the kitchen and slow down but stop, perfect. So now we've got a nice perspective of showing how the two spaces connect together. Now I love throwing in a detail shot also in the kitchen. So I'm gonna go to the wide lens and I'm gonna crouch down, hit record and then I'm gonna pull uh, stand up. So now it's great to show some unique angles of spaces, especially of a kitchen that is this big. And you gotta shoot the shot in the motion that you want it captured. So I'm actually gonna push forward and walk backwards revealing the kitchen. Make sure you don't run into anything behind you and stop. Perfect, so that was a nice reveal of the kitchen. And now there's so many good details here. I'm actually gonna grab a detail of the light fixture and then come down. Perfect. Now this uh, faucet here is pretty cool. So we're gonna do a telephoto and just do a nice slow push into it. Nice. Clips don't have to be long. They can be two to four seconds in length and that'll be perfect. So just think of all the, the fun angles that might really show off this kitchen. So this seating area is really fun here. So we're gonna start down and then just push in and zoom up. Boom, got it. It's great to do walk in and then turn around shots so people get a really good perspective. And so it's good to jump back and forth between wide shots, medium shots, telephoto shots to kind of give dimension to the space. Hit record as we're moving in and we do a swivel shot around the sink and stop. Perfect. So that's a great shot. Now we're gonna do a similar shot right around the stove. Those are some great shots of the kitchen. Now the next space that is connected to it is the dining space and we'll shoot that next. So kind of look at it from different sides to see what, okay, what would be the best shot of connecting this space together? So, Hmm, so I kind of like it from this space. It shows how it connects the kitchen nicely over to the space. So we're gonna show the flow from one space to the next. Then just a slow down and stop. Perfect. Now there's a lot of fun stuff going on here. So sometimes, uh, you know, I zoomed in shot of the light fixture. And so I like to lean to the left sometimes and then we'll lean to the right and do a tilt down as we're leaning to kind of show some dimension to the space. Perfect. Now, we always like to show it from the other side as well. So this one is purely just gonna be a nice little, you know, left to right 
pan to show how the space connects together. Perfect. After you've shot all of the major living areas, then it's next, it's great to go to the master. I like to shoot it how the spaces flow together with a ProZilla video walkthrough. And so we'll start in the living room and then push into the master space. So we'll frame up with the door, show that we're in the living room, and always um, start your motion right before you hit record so you have a seamless shot already in motion. Awesome, so that was a nice frame shot. So this bed is nicely framed between the windows. And so we're just gonna go ahead and show, do it, grab a detail shot of this light fixture and showing how good it looks over the bed. And stop. Then uh, just to show the rest of the space, we're just gonna grab a nice slow pan. We've got all the shots that we need for the master bedroom, and now we're gonna show how it connects into the master bath. So it's typically great to pick the best angle. So you start back in the bedroom and show the doorway, and then you walk in to show it off. Ready, go. And we're gonna to move to the side to kind of reveal. And make sure you're Make sure you're trying to stay out of any mirror shots. That's critical. So this is a fantastic master bath. So we're gonna really throw in some nice detail shots. So we're gonna start back, get down low. Do a nice smooth tilt up, showing off the space. So a fun trick is to throw in a slow motion shot. So if you change from 4K into HD, you can switch into 120 frames per second. Now when you shoot this, the editing app will auto recognize that this is supposed to be a slow motion shot. This is perfect for any type of motion. It could be a pool with a waterfall. It could be a master tub with the water running and it'll capture it in slow motion. We'll jump over here. Turn the water on and we'll grab just a nice, frame it so you can see the water, and you'll do capture and perfect. And then grab another, we're actually gonna do telephoto in so we can see the water of the detail better, and we're gonna do perfect. So we grabbed our shot, make sure you always shut the water off. That was a great detail shot, and I'm stoked to see how that's gonna turn out in the final video. So when it comes to mirrors, you really have to see where the edge of the shot is and make sure you end your shot before you get into the mirror. Another option of getting around that would be getting low, below the mirror, and starting with a low shot and then panning up to show the space. So that way you're below the line of sight of the mirror. Uh, so, but there's this massive mirror here. So to get around this, we're gonna drop down low below the line of the mirror and start and do a nice pan up shot. So I'm gonna get on my knees, drop down, make sure I'm beneath the shot, frame it up, and I'm framed down, record, and I'm just do a nice push slow, push forward and tilt up and stop. Perfect, so that gives you perspective of the space without actually being in the reflection of the mirror. Another great shot, these countertops are incredible. So I'm gonna do a telephoto shot and just do a nice lean from right to left. So 
So just that subtle motion adds so much depth to the shot. And so it's great to, to jump to these different detail shots as you're moving through the space. So it does have this absolutely epic shower to it. So you definitely want to get a shower shot. So it is very shiny. And so we're going to have to try and choose an angle where it shows as little of our reflection as possible. And the flooring is super cool. So I'm going to kind of tilt down as I move into the space and then tilt back up as I push forward. Awesome. And let's step in here and make sure we get, if we need to get any shots. So this uh, shower head is pretty sweet. So let's do a zoomed in shot of that. So we are in a darker space in here and your best low light lens is gonna be the wide. So that there's less noise in the shot, I'm gonna use that lens for this shot. Just do a nice little push and stop. Perfect. And this flooring looks really cool. So there's a nice shine to it. So I'm going to try and get back so I can see the shine and just do a nice little push shot. Man, I can't really get the shot because of the weight. There we go. Just a simple quick shot. Okay, so now we're gonna show how the master bath connects with this epic master shower. So I'm gonna step back to show how it all connects. Get the flooring there and hit record. Do a nice, nice. Push, push in, in as, as you get, as into, you get space, into the space, then, then slow, slow down, down and, and stop. And just in case, we may not use this shot, but I'm just gonna capture anyways, just showing the shot from the other perspective and we'll just do a nice little tilt. That's a great master closet. So now we're gonna work through some of the next spaces. There's actually a theater space and an office that we'll shoot next. So the office also connects right off the living room. So we're gonna start back in the living room a little bit, do our ultra wide shot so that you can see how the spaces connect. Make sure our verticals are straight up and down. My phone was shifting a little bit, so I'm just gonna adjust that. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start hit record and walk. Showing off these cool doors and we're pan and then show off this cool office space. Nice. So this is a really, really cool space with that light fixture. So I wanna zoom in to show off that light fixture and how the desk connects to the space. So I'm actually gonna lean forward, hit record, tilt down as I'm leaning backwards, nice and slow. Perfect. This is a fun space, so I think I'm gonna grab one more shot, try and choose the most attractive side, and I'm gonna do ultra wide just to do a nice little pan showing the space. So you already start panning before you hit record. Okay, so next the, next the bonus room is right off the living room as well, so we're gonna shoot that space next. So we're gonna walk down and show how the whole space connects together. And then when you get right through the doorway, you slow down and then just do a nice slow push in before you stop recording. So there's a cool fan here. It's so starting to stay ultra wide and I'm just gonna tilt up to show the fan, hit record and then tilt down just to show the space. And then we're gonna just do a, a nice little pan from left to right to show off the rest of the space. Nice slow, slow pan, pan to show off the show space, off the corner, space. To corner. corner to corner and stop. There is a powder bath right off this bonus space, and so it's close in proximity, so we'll always shoot that next. This one conveniently doesn't have a mirror behind it, uh, which does look a little funny, but that means that we won't have any issues getting shown in the back. So this tile is really cool, so we're gonna do a tilt down and tilt up shot as we're pushing in. And now this light fixture is really cool and it's kind of dark in here. So we're going to use the wide angle to get our sharp, sharpest low light shot. Just a nice little rotation to show depth and dimension. 
It doesn't have to be long. It can just be two seconds. And now this countertop is super cool with this faucet. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just a nice little push pan in to give dimension. So next we're gonna shoot all of the secondary bedrooms and bathrooms. All right, so we're gonna start back in the hallway and nicely walk into the bedroom. As you get, get into, into the bedroom, bedroom slowly, slowly stop, stop and, but, but still, still keep, keep pushing, pushing in and stop. Now this bedroom is empty, so we just wanna get one shot. A lot of these secondary bedrooms, they just need that single walk-in shot showing it off. What's great is all these bedrooms have walk-in bathrooms. So let's get that shot next. Step back to kind of show the walkway into it. Hit record. Nice. nice. Well, now there's, there's a mirror, mirror right here, so we have to stop, stop and slowly, slowly come in. in. All right, so we were in the mirror shot right there. And so we'll actually make sure the clip the clip cuts back here. And so we're gonna step in past the mirror. So, and so we're gonna step past the mirror and you can either start up at the light and work your way down, or you can start down at the floor and work your way up towards the light. Now, I like to alternate between those two shots. So in that other bathroom, we started at the floor and went up. So this time I'm gonna start up at the light, make sure you're not in the reflection, hit record. record. Nice, nice pan, pan down, down, tilt, tilt down, down, and we're gonna be panning, panning down, down towards the floor and stop. Down. So we're already tilted down, and so we're gonna grab we're a shot, shot here, here of this shower, shower area, showing it off. There we go. All right, let's head to the next bedroom. Okay, so we're gonna start back in the hallway, just like with the other one. Make sure our verticals are straight up and down, and our phone is nice and straight, and hit record, and Smooth motion into the bedroom and slow down as you start to see the furniture and stop. So you want to give enough time for the people to be able to take in how big the space is. So now we've got a bathroom here, but we've got same scenario, big mirror right there. There's no way we can get past it with, with a straight shot. And so either you have to duck down below the mirror or you have to step into the into the right and tilt down and tilt up. So in this one, let's try something different. We're gonna get down on our knees to stay below the, the mirror and we're just gonna you know, lean back, hit record, record and, and just, just push, push in and, and tilt, tilt up, up to show, show off the space. space. And stop. Perfect. So if you want to, this is kind of a cute flower here. So I'm gonna zoom in, just step out of the mirror and then do just a nice little detail shot. Just push in past the doorway and stop. Same thing, ultra wide, zoomed out, step back, hit record, nice, nice smooth, smooth motion, motion into, into the, the room, room and, and pushing, pushing in and stop. Nice, so that shows off the space. Now with this bathroom, there's just a walkway in and we're not gonna interfere with the mirror. So we're gonna walk in and just pan to the right. Walking in, panning to the right. Make sure we don't get seen in the mirror and stop. Perfect. And now we've got a handy dandy, uh, this is a Jack and Jill bath, so how it connects. So sometimes it's fun to, to push your, uh, lift up the phone, hit record, and then step, step back, back and slowly go, go down, down to, to reveal, reveal the rest of it and stop. Perfect, sometimes it's fun to throw that in versus constantly doing pans up and down. Okay, so our last space is the laundry room. So there's some, definitely some cool flooring here. So we're, we're gonna step in and show off the, the laundry space. And stop. Okay, so this door here is kind of covering up this shot. So we're actually gonna open this up so we can get a nice clean shot of this space. So uh, because it's kind of a lower light scenario in here, we're actually gonna switch and do kind of a detail shot showing off the flooring up to the sink. Hit record, nice smooth pan up and stop. Perfect. So now we've got all of the inside spaces shot and now we're gonna do the backyard. So we like to show how the spaces connect together. So you'll start on the inside, have the doors open and then walk to the outside. This home has these nice double wide doors. So I'm just gonna open them both up so I can do a nice walk out. So I'm gonna start back in the living space and I'm just gonna do a nice little three walk around to kind of reveal the space out there. 
Make sure our verticals are straight up and down and start moving, hit record. And now we're tilting, panning, walking past into this nice little area with the fireplace and stop. Perfect. Now that we're done on the inside, we'll go ahead and shut these doors so that the, uh, we're not seeing them open in the other shots. Awesome, so it's always good to show it from a couple of different perspectives. So we walked in from the right side, so now we're gonna jump on the left side and do a nice push in or pull out from the space. You decide what's best for the space. For me, I think I'm gonna start here, show off this uh, sitting area, and then pull back into showing the fireplace, the couch area. So here we go. And so we're in the reflection of the glass here, so we have to make sure we stay out of the reflection as we're pulling backwards. Perfect. So that definitely kind of showed off the space, how it all connects together. And then we'll jump to the backyard and show off the back space and how it connects with this seating area. This flag's in the way, so we're going to just grab it here and put it off to the side of the yard, kind of out of our shot. So kind of a good shot is to start back in the corner and kind of do a reveal and walk around and kind of do almost a 180 shot of this backyard. Here we go, so hit record. And, and we're, we're slowly, slowly panning, panning to the, to the left, left and kind of doing a 360 walk around shot. And stop. Then uh, this little sitting area in the back porch is kind of fun. So we're gonna do a, a zoom in and just do a nice little kind of 90 degree pan shot. So we're walking and panning around this area and stop, perfect. And then it's good to show just the whole breadth of the backyard. So it can be good to st stand in the far corner, do ultra wide, and just do a nice little pan of the backyard. Nice, nice little, little pan, pan of, of the backyard, backyard. Nice, nice and slow, slow. Showing, showing how, how big, big it is. is. Perfect. So now we've got the front yard, the inside and the backyard all shot in succession to how you would actually edit together the video. Next, our last shot that we always shoot is walking backwards from the front door and revealing the front of the house. Let's go shoot it. So for our last clip, you're gonna start in at the door and you have your ultra wide lens and then you're just gonna walk backwards. Now make sure you watch your step so you get a nice clean shot from the front door to showing the entire expanse of the front of the house. So we're gonna start here, make sure everything's nice and straight. Hit record and start, start walking backwards. backwards. I've got a bunch of steps, steps. so I've, I've got, got to walk, walk backwards, backwards slowly down the steps. Now let's, let's keep, keep walking, walking backwards, backwards until we show off the entire face of the home. And stop. Perfect. So now we're done. Now let's move on to editing. Thanks for watching our course on how to shoot a Zillow video walkthrough. Hopefully you picked up some helpful tips on how to operate your gimbal and capture those shots. We'll see you in the next one.